Let me ask you a question as a married man and both of y'all. Like, in your marriage, give me an example of a time where you realize that you made the right choice. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Okay. So, um... <laughs> I know you were talking. We were talking about black women, and so first, first of all, let me yeah, let me say introduce Money Moses. Moses. Money Moses here. We ain't gonna just let don't this nigga pull up. I got him myself. And you ain't even I, been I, in the. Bro, you ain't been on don't, the show, don't nigga. Don't worry about that. You been, been gone for listen, a minute. Yeah, I've been taking time to myself. Oh, okay. You been listening at the interview. No, nigga. I ain't been listening, yeah. to him, but I understand what he was saying, bro. You gotta put the phone down. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, run you crazy, bro. I know a nigga ain't got no phone to this day. He don't have no cell phone. You got to catch him at the house. Mm-hmm. No word. <laughs> he only got a house. been to jail. <laughs> no, he ain't been in jail? No, he ain't been in jail. He just don't like it. Y'all don't just don't know he been in jail because he ain't got no phone. He ain't been in jail. I was just talking about mm-hmm. him today. It's crazy. You just you got to catch him at the house. If you don't catch him at the mm-hmm. house, you don't I catch feel him. I feel him. Old school. <laughs> That's old school. You remember old that, school. don't you? Yeah, you got to leave a message. Man, so Money when Moses, what's up? Do you know anything about 85 South when Carlos called you out last time on here? When he said you was mad, Moses, what, what you got to say I to Chico? I was mad back then. I told you I put my phone down, bro. I ain't mad no more like that. Like, I bro, thought it was a woman that was making you mad, yeah, not I, the phone. I, yeah, because she blocked on everything, deleted, you can't text me, none of that stuff. The only time I know she calling when they say, uh, when they say, uh, no call ID. <laughs> No, nah, you just toxic. assume it's her, nigga. That <laughs> no, no, no. Might be renting or trying to get their payment hey, for that couch at your house, man. I don't read nothing. Hey, yo, my name ain't on nothing, so they can't call me. Man, what's going on? What you have for me, Miss Lady? <laughs> no, you were talking about black women earlier. So I, I remember listening to an interview that you were in, and you were saying something about you've never dated a white girl. Mm. Ever. No, no. I ain't never been around them to date them. You know what I'm saying? We I grew up in D.C. There were no white girls in D.C. Like, when I went to North Carolina and said that, niggas was like, nigga, you ain't never, nigga, never. <laughs> like, no, nigga, nah. I never have. No. Never got one. No, 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 man. And I just, you know, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't right. judge nobody. But I just love black women, man. That's I, real. I love black women. Like, and the things that make in my bro that I've asked from the men that I've talked to that don't like black women or don't mm-hmm. date or marry women of the opposite uh race, mm-hmm. if you will, the things that they tell me that made them do that mm-hmm. is shit that don't bother me at all about <laughs> black women because of the way that I was raised. Like I was raised around some of the strongest black women that Ever in my mm-hmm. opinion. Wait a minute. So you saying niggas weak because they can't deal with a black woman? I'm not woman. saying they weak. I'm just saying that the things that they say are the deal breakers aren't deal breakers. Give for me, me one example of a. <laughs> I knew that would come. Uh, just you know, having to be res- you know responsible to one, like in regards to being held to your word. You know what I mean? And not being allowed to do certain things. It's certain things that you can get away with from a woman that don't know no better. But a black woman is not going to stand for certain shit right. from a black man, and she's going to challenge you on that. Mm-hmm. But I think a lot of that comes from niggas not being who they say they are. I really am who I say I am. So I don't mind you challenging me on who I say I am because I am that. So therefore, mm-hmm. it won't be a problem. I'm just, if I have to re remind you of who I am, that's not a problem for me. So that's just one example, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, you know, I love black women, man. You know what I mean? Man. No disrespect to nobody else, but I love black women. Me and you women. both, man. Yeah, it's you, going got a, down. You, got a, you got a hell of a <laughs> one. You know, 20 years, you man. You Jamaica and got you one. Yeah, well, everybody say that, you know, but she came over here. Her brother <laughs> yeah, yeah, she came over. and found you. <laughs> you know God sent her Don't to Don't make me. it seem like she needed a green <laughs> no, card, God nigga. God sent her to you me, got, man. Like, you, you lucky to have this woman. I'm blessed. I don't even believe in love, Hell yeah. You definitely are. This is her. This is one. Like I said, that's the reason I'm here. Man, man. listen, nigga, if you, you asked me to do that shit, really? I'd be like, man, hey, man, I, hey, man. Uh, listen, I see you. Hey, man, I'm a holler at you, black man. <laughs> I seen you, man. When you when you showed us love at the show, man, thank you so much, bro. Oh, no problem, you know what man. I'm but, and I but, respect that. Even though I don't, you know, I have no desire to ever be married or in a relationship, yeah. I respect relationships that I see. Uh-huh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 but, no, no. We need to go into that. But no, we, we <laughs> might want to wait. We <laughs> yeah. might want to wait. No, get, get the good part about the relationship. Go but ahead. I respect relationships. Even though I don't have a desire to be in one, I respect the ones that I see that I can tell are stern. You know what I mean? And what I mean by stern is that from the way that y'all interact and communicate with each other, I see that one of the most important aspects of any relationship, the communication, oh, yeah. is present and active amongst you two. And that's something that I think that 
you guys are giving to the people that you might not even recognize that you're giving in regards to the importance of communication because that's the biggest deal breaker in relationships you know what i mean it's like finances and fucking but those two things are driven by Blade, the communication yeah, you know what i'm saying blood. they they are driven by the communication so when i see two people that communicate in the way that i've seen y'all communicate outside of when the cameras is on just in my space and how y'all interact it's like you know bravo because it's it's possible to really have a relationship that lasts i'm not saying that it, you know people think that when i say it that that work. means that i'm against it i'm not against it but i'm just against the bullshitting that people are doing out here if you're not really willing to communicate and tell your woman the truth that's my perspective there's no woman that i can have and stand in front of god and the pastor and listen to brian mcknight songs <laughs> And say, tell death do us part if I can't be who I truly am in front of you. I don't understand how niggas can be a real nigga everywhere but in their house. That's so real. But I posted, like, I posted something on um, threads today. And I said, um, I can't read your mind. You have to say what you need. And then I can fulfill your need. You understand what but I mean? But that's the thing. Like, that's so, that's real. I'm that's glad that you said that because as a man, we have, in my opinion, we have the responsibility of being honest about what our needs are. Exactly. And the biggest problem that we have is the, the fear of taking the L. That's something that I have learned to accept with grace because I'm going to tell you what it is with me from the beginning. And it's kind of like a disarming technique, if you will, because all the shit that you're going to look at me and think is bullshit about me, I'm going to tell you is active right now. You're not going to be the only woman that I deal with, period, ever. I have no desire to do that. And it's not just about sex. It doesn't have anything to do with me putting my dick into another woman. Sometimes I just want to be in the presence of some different women. And I'm going to do that because that makes me happy. So if that makes you unhappy, I'm not the nigga you need to be dealing with. I so is that that's your cool. major problem? No, it's not a problem. It's just the way that I communicate. You know what I'm saying? Like No, no, I not not a major problem as in your part. I'm talking the females that you encounter is that one of their major problems? Oh, for sure. Like your, because you know, we are, you know, it's it, it's what you raised it to believe. You know what I mean? And and that's something that I always find funny is that we will question everything, but the sanctity of male female interaction, you know what I mean, is People are questioning God and religion and government and all that. But when it comes to the way that a man's supposed to interact with a woman, the only way it's supposed to look is the way you've been told it was supposed to look growing up. And I disagree. Mm -hmm. Everybody is different. And you just better hope you find somebody who's true about whatever it is that they different differences are. Would you have a problem with her having a lot of male friends? No, I don't give a fuck about none of that. That's the thing. I just, <gasps> I just was saying this the other day. Like, I don't have... I was... I have a different perspective. I was raised around a lot of different things, you know what I'm saying? And one of the, re and I say this, it might sound like a joke, but I'm being dead serious. I love hoes, like real hoes, mm -hmm. like women that are hoes because they're the honest women. And if you are willing, if they respect you enough to give you real game, they give you the reality of how a woman's mind works in a lot of ways that we as men will never get never because y'all are it. so much better at dealing with your emotions than we are, whether it be being honest about it or hiding the shit. You way better at emotions than we are. So just being able to get the game that I've got from the women that I've got, like if you don't wake up in the morning and wash your pussy, it don't belong to you, it's yours. So my job is never to control what you do with it. My job is to be the best version of myself that I can be, so whatever you decide to do with it is beneficial when I show up. But outside of that, do what you do. As long as whatever you do when I'm not around, don't bring me no problems when I am around, have at it. Because I am I can care less about that. I'm not, you know, pussy to me is the least valuable thing on a woman. I think that's uh, blatant honesty. I think that's something that, that's how a relationship work as well, to be honest with you. If you're going to stay with somebody, you got to be straight up with them about what you're going to be able to put up with or what you're not going to be able to put up with. And if you choose to do it with one, you got people that do it all kind of ways. Well, let me ask you a question as a married man and both of y'all, like in your marriage, give me an example of a time where you realize that you made the right choice. Because I think that's something that's not discussed enough. Like that moment where it was, where you realize, okay, this really the person I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life. I think mine was more, when I met her, I already knew it. You know what I mean? So. I mean, outside of that, see, that's what I mean, that you get that answer all the time. But I'm yeah. talking about, how long y'all been married? 20 years. 
in that 20 years, outside of what you knew, when you had it confirmed, like when was that That's moment? Been a, a several, for me, several times, you know, and the reason I say that because of the kids and just it's, it's all type of different things that happened through the course of us being together. The way she interacted with my kids. I got two kids before I even had, you know, my children by her. And the way she interacted with them, that was a that was something that was important. You know, you got a daughter, so if you had somebody that mesmerized you when they, when they met your daughter and they treated her better or just the same as you did, that's not easy to find. Most people don't even want to put up with your damn kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> and vice versa. So to see how she interacted with them and the way they received her, that was an eye opener because I had been, I was single. So I was dating and I was bringing girls around and they was not trying to hear none of that. Mm -hmm. But I love my kids because I had just, I've been through some stuff. But when they met her, it was dope. And then to have my kids by her, those, those, were, those were other, you know, pretty much great moments where mm -hmm. I, I never forget those times that my children was brought in. The way she have taken care of us, That's those are big factors. Just the way she always cooking, always cleaning, always, they, you know, she, I really did better with the kids, I believe, because she didn't really go in there with them. She'd just be like, y'all go, whatever. She trusted them. You know, me, I'm like, you need to check on them from the time they were little, but she had a way of dealing with them the way they learned on their own, and I always value that too. So there are several different things that has to do with family that make me reconfirms every day that right. I'm with the right woman. And that's the reason why I ask because you know what I mean? that level of confirmation is something that I think people negate in relationships in regards to the conversations that I have, the daily confirmations and affirmations that you got to provide to a person that you said you dedicated your life to. Yeah. Beginning, because in my opinion, the reason people get divorced so much in this country is because you don't have to get divorced the same way you get married. And what I mean by that is if everybody that got an invitation to your wedding automatically gets to come and you got to throw a whole nother ceremony where they get to come and sit in court and listen to y'all tell each other why you can't wait to get the fuck away from each other. And then y'all got to have a divorce reception like y'all did a wedding reception and how you came out to your first song. What's your first song you going to play when you getting away from this bitch? That's twisted. You know what I mean? Yeah, but but I'm just real, saying, it's just saying? those things that you get to hide behind in regards to the the, the glory and the, you know what I mean, the veil of, oh, I found my life partner. And then you just get to show up with the ring off and be like, yeah, shit ain't work out. Are you here, are you here only one side of it? Because I've known people who get divorced and they go through a divorce party. Because nowadays they're doing parties for everything. Yeah, but, but there ain't but, the same but, people that came into it with them. But even, yeah. if, even if that was, you're still only hearing one side of the story. Right. You understand? Because right. both parties are not at that part. No. Right. To hear both sides. Right. Because like my philosophy with all of this stuff is always there's three sides to a story. There is your, your side, side, my up, side, and, and the, the truth. truth. And the reason why I'm saying that, people don't understand that. I used to always say that as a kid, but as you get older, you know, you get wiser. And it's not that you're telling a lie or I'm telling a lie, but we have different perspective of yeah. what yeah, transpired. Yeah, I say that all the time. I, I have those conversations with women that I deal with all the time, like just in regards to the general interaction, like if I'm looking at you right here mm -hmm. and somebody standing behind you looking at you and we both giving descriptions of what we see, we're describing the same thing, but it's going to be two totally, totally different. different descriptions that we're giving. That's real. So how do you get to a point where we either I need to come around to your side or you need to come around to my side. But if we keep trying to describe it from where we're looking, we ain't going to never get nowhere. That's so right. true. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.